Hey guys, Erica with a K here. I know this video is a little bit different because it's just images that I'm showing you, but there is a lot of info in my talking. So I know that I told you guys I hired an assistant and that video will come out sometime next week on exactly how we work. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you my new inventory I recently took pictures of and plus some tips on how to take better pictures yourself. So I have a dress form that is adjustable. So I leave it set to my size because sometimes I alter the clothes on it, but because I wear relatively a small size, I could put pretty much any size clothing on it for pictures. So it works if I just leave it alone. All the articles of clothing shown in these pictures are plus sizes, and they were simply pinned in the back to show the true shape of the item. You never want to pin it too much. That shows a fake, not real shape. So when they get it, they're kind of confused and think like, okay, hey, that's not what I got. You want it to show what the actual shape really would be on a person that it actually fits on. So I used a plain primed wall in the background because uh, you guys know I always work with what I have and right now all we have are blank prime walls so that's what I'm working with and it happens to work really well. My goal is to get as many new images for the older items that I have and as many new images for new items that I have up while we are still in the slow months for e-commerce. I don't know about you, but sales have been dragging for me, but that's because it's the summer and that happens. Things will pick up when everyone's back to school and the holidays are around the corner. My plan is to take advantage of this slow time by preparing myself for the busy months ahead. Prepare yourself for success. Plus, I have an assistant and I wanted to hit the ground run running with her. I didn't want to like waste any time with anything, so we are just like banging these things out. Okay, so the lights that I have are the same ones that I used for the YouTube video, but I only use one and I turn it backwards for a softer light, um, so it's not like directly on the image. I use my cell phone for taking pictures. Here's a tip for everyone on Poshmark. If you have been using your phone and you found that the image doesn't fit in the square box for Poshmark, that Poshmark provides, uh, and you have an iPhone, not sure if the Androids have this option, but take the pictures using the square setting on the camera, it'll be perfect size. If your phone doesn't have that option, try taking the picture from farther away so that when it's cropped in the Poshmark square, it'll actually fit in the frame. Or you could set your main image as I have using the layout app on the iPhone. There is another app on the Android, I'm just not sure what it's called, but it's pretty much the app that lets you put two pictures side by side. Um, if, if you put them side by side, that square will fit in the Poshmark frame. I like to use an image of the full article of clothing, plus I like to use a close-up picture of the item details. You can use the full front, the full back, whatever you feel comfortable doing. You can now use more than four photos, um, which is awesome, but just be sure to take the picture of the full front, the full back, the tag, a detailed picture of the color or any patterns, and then lastly, you want to take a picture of any markings or imperfections, and be sure to add that in the listing if there are any. Okay, I think that covers it all, so stay tuned for the follow-up video of this showing my assistant and myself working together, and I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with a blog on Saturday and a vlog on Sundays. Thank you so, so much for your love and support. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.